Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm Teresa Flores. I'm an artist and I do a lot of other work kind of interdisciplinary wise and such. Um, and today I'm going to be leading us through the guided snack hour. <laughs> so what we're going, what we're doing today is um, because I'm an artist, I work kind of interdisciplinarily. Like I don't just draw or paint or make video, but I like to do other things like open discussions with people or um, interactive activities and such. And I have a project called the Experimental Quesadilla Lab. And I've been doing that for ooh, probably since about 2013. And um, <laughs> I've been doing that since about 2013. And usually we, I like set up a spot in a public area and I like work with people and we get foods from nearby grocery stores, like something expensive, something cheap. And we have this lab and we start to ask these questions about ourselves and our food that's available to us. And we start to make quesadillas together and we make it experimental quesadillas. And from there, we learn a lot about each other. Like we learn a lot about access, about dietary restrictions, about taste preferences, all just from these small moments of food. Quarantine is happening right now. It's a pandemic. We can't really be out interacting like that. And so as a result, I've kind of adapted that project to be the guided snack hour. So what I would like to do is um, work with you, with whatever you have, um, to create a new snack, to see what you've got that's available to you. Um, it, also, this project comes out of just my own practice with my health and what I do. I've gone through like some really crazy health issues like with endometriosis. And that has changed the way that I eat food and the way that I make my food choices. Like, I can't eat salsa every day, three times a day, on my food the way that I used to because it's just way too acidic and my body can't handle it. And I felt like kind of culturally not, um, like that was just such a rejection of my culture that my body was rejecting it and I was upset about it. And I started realizing there are other people that have to go through this with food too. Like, you have to make these food choices and they tie in so much with your identity. But at the same time, you have to make these food choices for what's best for your body, what your body can handle and process. So um, the guided snack hour and the experimental quesadilla lab, we're exploring these things, these choices, because they influence our taste, they influence the way that we make our food decisions. Um, and then they also influence um, the way that we share food with, with people and the way that we pass on culture. It's, you know, it's kind of an interesting, strange world. So, if I have anybody on here, let me see, is there anybody who would like to join me to make a snack? Um, the idea is, like, I know not everybody really wants to be on camera right now. I don't blame you. Like, my hair is all, I'm looking at my little nappy hair and stuff. Um, it's cool though, it's cool. If you don't wanna be on camera, um, my suggestion is maybe you can just take your camera and point it at like a salt shaker or a bag of chips or something, but just talk to me. Tell me what you have in your kitchen and let's work together to create a snack. By doing this, what you do is you're helping other people get ideas of what to make at home because a lot of us have been spending a lot of time at home and we need to figure out something new to eat and we need to share with each other these, these our choices what our ideas um so i'm here to help you come up with these ideas um and then in addition to that um we've got let's see yeah so if, if you if you do want to be on camera that would be great then you can just kind of um show me what you have I would appreciate that if you want to like walk me through your kitchen show me what you have available and then I'll help you to come up with a snack there and then if you want to like make the snack while we're on <clears throat> on on the live together that would be cool but also um, 
if you want to just kind of make it and then show a photo of it later, you can do that using the hashtag guided snack hour. Um, so let's see. Um, I'm curious if anybody wants to join, like maybe wave or leave a comment or like just kind of uh, send a request. I think if you scroll to the top of your page, you can send a request and then I know that you want to join. Um, otherwise, let's see if we've got anybody here. Um, I can't tell. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I'll just give it a second and see who comes on. Um, I know there's quite a few of you watching. Do you have any questions for me though? Like, do you feel like I explained to you what we're doing well enough? Do you feel comfortable? So you can do it kind of call-in style where you don't have to be face-to-face -face on the camera and let everybody see you. Or you can, you know, if you're up for being on camera right now, then you can do that too. But it's like one or the other. I'm okay with either one. I just kind of want to work with you to come up with these guided snack ideas. see um, here we go we've got somebody joining us if you'd like to join just leave a message or leave a leave a request so that I know so that I can add you in afterwards yeah cool hello Malcolm hi Teresa Hi. Hi. Welcome. My six-year-old son. Who do we have here? Good job, man. <laughs> We're here. Awesome. Thanks yeah. for joining. Well, okay. We're excited to try and make a snack with you. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um, Matthew, Matthew Cloud Hunter says he's in full PPE, so he can't join us. But wow, that's cool. Um, it's cool. We have somebody watching who's wearing full PPE. Thank you for joining us, taking the time. I hope we get yeah. some inspiration for you. Yeah, um, once you get out of the PPE, you might have some great snack ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Where are you joining us from today? Uh, we're, we're in so-called Glassell Park, the ancestral homeland of the Tongva. But, um, you know, most people think of it as LA. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, yeah, so okay. a couple of miles north of downtown. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Thank you. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. On. Thanks for coming. Okay, so we're going to make a snack together. And so the idea is like, d d I just have some questions though. Like, what you have at home with your foods. Is that based on any kind of like dietary restrictions or do you have like ethical restrictions with your food, ethical concerns? Like what influences your food choices for what you bring home? What kind of things do we usually eat, Kachap? Mm. What? Do we see another message on my phone? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ethical food choices. We do talk a lot about where food comes from. And we like to eat food that comes from the ground, mostly, mm -hmm. um, rather than, than, than like animals. We do eat some animals, though, sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, what other stuff do we, what do we think about when we eat food or when we choose our food? Vegetables. Vegetables. And they come from the ground. What kind of vegetables do you like to eat? Carrots. Mm -hmm. Me too. Lots of carrots. I love carrots. Cool. Okay, green so. Hmm? Green beans. Oh, yeah. Green beans are always a favorite. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so let's see. What what kind of snacks do you have available with you right now that maybe I can help you come up with some? Ooh, new ideas? Should we go and look in the refrigerator, Kachow? Or go look in the pantry? Mm, yeah, let's see what's in the pantry. Okay, let's go in the pantry. Cool. Okay. Put this around. So this is our pantry, kind of a pie. Tortilla chips. Is yeah. that pirate got, booty? You got pirate booty. Awesome. Lots of types of tortilla chips. You got mm -hmm. potato chips. What do we call potato chips usually in our family kitchen? Crispy boy. 
He loves potato <laughs> chips. No problem there. Uh, we got some sandwich buns up there. Um, some kind of brioche bun. Nice. Uh, canned stuff. Pasta. Okay. Fizzy drink is what we call that. <laughs> uh huh. Almonds. Don't ever get this flavor. Not that good. No. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Also, the packaging is kind of weird. Like it's like. It tastes intense. It's habanero barbecue. They got peppers on there. I don't mm -hmm. know why. There's like there's some images on here that are kind of questionable in terms of like why are there maracas? Like, <laughs> what, what's up with that? Like, it, I re in case the pepper part didn't get all the way through. Yeah, peppers come from Mexico, but the maracas thing is like okay, but where? I don't even know how how they're putting these things together culturally. Like they're trying to resonate there with something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. But I'm kind of failing, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, cool. Let's see. What yeah, about so like? Do you got any cheeses? Any sauces? Cheeses. Do we have cheeses? Let's see here. All right. We have. Ooh, look at that watermelon. That looks good. Where would cheese be, Kachow? Oh, we've got like a lot of spreads in there, though, huh? Yeah, we just got we just stocked up. So we got hummus. Mm -hmm. We've got that's maple syrup, kimchi. Mm -hmm. uh, my partner is Korean American, so we got mm -hmm. kimchi in there. We got sausage, tofu, some greens of some kind. We got lots <laughs> of berries back there hiding. Ooh, we got some grapes. We had watermelon. Kachow's sister loves watermelon, so we always have watermelon. They have all these kind of prepackaged greens. Got mm -hmm. some oranges. That sounds amazing. Apple slices. My daughter wow. can't chew through apple skin, so she, and she just chokes on it. So we always have to get that stuff just to make our lives manageable. Pre sliced. Uh, okay. Yeah. Smart, smart, smart. That's good. Hmm. My immediate idea that jumps out at me when I think of just kind of something quick and snack-like would be to, like, dip some potato chips in some kimchi. Potato chips and kimchi, Kajal? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about that one? Mm, yum. I haven't tried it. You want to try something crazy? We could also get some hummus, maybe. So that's a good backup. Yeah, yeah. To go back to the chips. Hey, Kachat, would you put the kimchi on the the dining room table, and that way we can set that up. It's a by the microwave. So mission for future. Okay, you gonna, are you gonna be able to open that? Let me help you. Okay, it's got a smell to it. Pretty intense. Kachow, can you smell it? Yep. He loves kimchi. I'm not a kimchi guy. I never no. grew up here. So, yeah, I didn't have it until I was in my 30s, probably. The first time. And I was like, whoa, this Me is kind of intense. Yeah. Um, yeah, my first experience with kimchi was when I was going to school at Otis, grad school at Otis. And um, they were serving it in the cafeteria. Oh, yeah. yeah, wow. I don't think there's a lot of, when I, at least I don't remember in Fresno, because I grew up in Fresno, same as you, there being a lot of like Korean restaurants, at least, in, that I mm -hmm. knew of or that my family ever went to. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have any Korean American or Korean friends, as far as I know. Uh, I just wasn't exposed to it. I feel like there was, in Fresno, there was a lot of Japanese American and a long history of, of um, Japanese folks and uh, restaurants and all kinds of different events that were that had food involved that I got to try a lot of different things. But, uh, yeah, yeah, Korean food was I wasn't exposed to until I got to LA. But now, yeah, I, I don't even remember seeing it in the supermarket. I mean, like at yeah. Whole Foods or something. So it's, it's amazing how these foods, you know. Do they all, they get kind of bougie-fied in some ways and get put into the grocery store and they're gentrified. And, um, but there's, they're kind of, like, kimchi is so healthy for you. Yeah. The bacteria in there. How do you like that, Kachow? 
Is it good? Wait, the, this, the jar is too bit tall. Mm -hmm. It's too tall, so I can't let too it tall. go. It's, okay, I, there. Yeah, we were trying to like, oops. Uh, yeah, we gotta mm -hmm. put it in there because the jar was like, you can't reach in there. It's pretty, there's only a little bit left on the bottom. It's not oh, so I open. see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Do you want some juice? Cool. Uh, are you gonna try any, Malcolm? I'm gonna try some. <laughs> you noticed that I hadn't tried it yet? <laughs> yes, I noticed. I'm waiting for you to try it. <laughs> I'll go for it. It's all right. It's good. Have you done this like, before? It's not that different than salsa, like a, like a pico de gallo. Where if you leave yeah. one of those pico de gallos in your fridge for like a week and they get kind of soda, soda y. That's yeah. That experience. <laughs> so they might, yeah. Like cool. Yeah, yeah. That's just a variation on it. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's see. I'm glad that you got that in there. Um. Hmm. Do you guys have any other ideas or questions or anything? I think I think my job here is done. <laughs> no, oh, you've got We're successfully stacking. You yes. Another problem. That consultation successful. Woo. Cool, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank good you. seeing you. Yeah, good seeing you too. Um, we'll catch up later. Do you get to solve more snack problems now? How long do you? Yeah, get? so I'm gonna see who else has some snack questions coming up. Okay, I'm curious to yeah. see. Do you know who's gonna be next? Um, I believe we had somebody that wanted to come on in a few minutes. So. Okay. We'll see. Let me see. Um, oh, I can't actually. Let me see. What is this? Oh, that's not it. Do I need to get out of here? Do I need to X out so you can bring in the next friend? I think so. I think that's how. Okay. Yeah, because the next person's on. I see. Okay. Well, okay. we'll say goodbye then. Do you want to say bye? Good Thank job? you. Bye. 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 See bye. you. <laughs> All right. So that was our first snack. We have some kimchi dipped in potato chips, which I'm sure somebody has been doing that for years somewhere, but it might be new to some of you. So we just, we're sharing what goes on in our kitchens and the possibilities there just to kind of reimagine things and get a new idea, get a new freshness and to share our tastes. So I believe we have Tia Banka next. Let me see if I can add to you, Bonka. Does anybody else want to join us too? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you have questions while we're doing this, type in your question or if you have some kind of comment too, I'd like to hear from you guys that are watching. Um, let's see what Tia Bonka's got in her kitchen. Um, I don't know where she's coming to us from, but <laughs> let's see. In the meantime, I was looking through my kitchen and um, I luckily, I've got some snacks in here, but um, if anybody wants to make a quesadilla too with me, that's kind of my area of specialty with the experimental quesadilla lab. So I'd like to work with somebody to make a quesadilla. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, do you, hold on. We have a question about pureeing the kimchi. That was kimchi just kind of out of the, out of the fridge. Like there was like kind of chunks of cabbage in there and all the other good stuff. So I, I, I don't think it was pureed. I've never made kimchi either. So I can't kind of go on to there. Um, Tia Banka, Veronica. Hi. Hi. How are you? Welcome. Thanks for I'm joining good. us. Where are you joining us from? I'm in Fresno at one of my friend's houses, and so I went through the cabinets and the refrigerator and I pulled out a bunch of random things. I love pickles, by the way. So, I had to add <laughs> pickles in there. All right, well, are they whole pickles or are they sliced pickles? It's a whole pickle that's in there. A couple. Oh, okay, cool. Push cool. Pickles. Okay. Um, we got eight, eight, peanut I butter. Have I have a question, though, just, just for, for our folks who are watching. Are you cho are you doing the call in option today where we can't really necessarily see your face, but you're going to show us what you got? That's right. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Let me get my pen. Okay. Right. 
So we've got some string cheese, right? Crackers, lemon, lemon, pickles, tortillas. This is gonna be the biggest challenge you've ever had. We've got some cheese there. What kind of cheese is that? It's a bag of cheese, right? Fiesta blend cheese. Yes, that's my girl. Guess so. Yes, the nachos. Blend. Nachos. Uh huh. Uh huh. Tortilla chips. All right. What is that? Like diced ham or something? Yeah. See, see that's that's something that never makes its way into my kitchen. <laughs> oh, I know why. I mean, if I eat pork, my tongue swells up. So you know, this yeah. is good. This is part of the consultation. So part of it is just that, like, we're sharing because, like, I have dietary restrictions, so there's certain foods that never make it into my kitchen. And so there's certain combinations that I do here that are variations of what people would do with other foods in their place. Okay, okay, Nature Valley, granola bar. Maybe you can think of something, too, that, like, I don't have out here, but will go good with this stuff. Mm. Okay, what are you feeling like snacking? Do you feel like salty, sweet? Do you feel like cooking a little bit? Is it hot over there? It's hot. No cooking. No cooking. <laughs> no, so no melting that cheese. No, like, cooking that ham. Maybe later, but not live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you. So maybe making a quesadilla today wouldn't be, like, the best idea. I already had one for lunch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> okay, so you only have like one quesadilla per day. It's like you're, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is this in the bag? Are those English muffins? Yep. Okay. English muffins. But you have to warm those up too, right? And a toaster. Yeah. Would you be okay with using the toaster? You want me to make it right now? I thought you were just going to tell me. I'm just, I'm just trying to consider for the consultation. Possibly. <laughs> okay. Um, and we've got a lemon, huh? I love lemon. And a Lemons bunch of are life. <laughs> Is that a can of beans? It's green beans. Okay. There's corn in there too, but I like green beans. Okay, so we've got, this is just such a weird combination of food we have here. Hold on. That's why I brought it to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, let me think here. All right. Is that ham raw or is it cooked already? You can eat it like on a salad. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. I see how it goes. Mm -hmm. I think. And there's peanut butter. Yeah. Peanut butter, no jelly. No jelly. Okay. Okay. This is good. Okay. And chili powder. Oh, no. It's never mind. It's menudo seasoning. <laughs> I wanted magic to happen here. <laughs> Malcolm is suggesting a green bean and ham salad. Oh, that sounds good. Green beans and ham. You could you could open that up together even if you don't have like lettuce. You could probably mix those up a little bit too. But if you could get some mixed greens, you could put the green beans in with the ham and mix them up. And you could even chop in some pickles, I would dare. Somebody's asking if you have curry? No, I wish. Mm. Oh, and add the lemon. G GCX works. What, what would you do with the curry? What ideas do you have for the curry? How can she add that stuff in? Um, let's see. Also, okay, so some ideas that I've got are, I mean, the most obvious to me is to get that granola bar and add some of the peanut butter to it. Oh, and then, yeah. Yeah, and then you've got like a dark chocolate oat with some peanut butter granola snacky snack. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, another option I'm thinking is to go like the Lunchables road, and you could slice up some of that pickle. 
and slice up some of your string cheese and get some of your diced ham and you can put them all in like a little cutting Cracker. board. Yeah, and get some of the crackers and you can have like a little combination grown up charcuterie board lunchables with the crackers, the string cheese, the ham and the pickle. That could be a snacky snack. Nice. Um, so GCX works is suggesting a Swedish flying Jacob, which is ham, peanut butter, curry, and banana. Wow. That sounds tasty. <laughs> that does sound good. We've got like a lot of options going here. Um, anybody else watching have more combinations? Prene, so just that green beans, ham and pickle sound. Mm -mm. I'm so excited people like pickles, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are good. These are good combinations. Um, okay, let's see. What else could you add there? What about with these English muffins? Oh, man. I mean, English muffins with peanut butter. That's okay. kind of an obvious thing. I guess if you wanted to, you could, like, crumble... Um, you could crumble some of that granola bar on top of it. It would be like oh. extra carby. It would be very carby, but it would be delicious. I need to go get some yogurt too. Yogurt would be nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, you crumble up the granola bar and put it on top of the yogurt too. That's another option. Here's popcorn. Now you tell me there's popcorn. It's Dude, been here. You didn't wait, see it. it what right kind here. of popcorn is that? Just Is that butter? Yeah. Smart Dude. pop. Dude, chop up that pickle and mix it with the popcorn with the butter. You'll thank me later. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm going to have to try that when we hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Do it and then take a photo and then hashtag it for us so we can see it and repost it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Guided snack hour is the hashtag. <laughs> cool. All right. I think my job here is done. We've got you some <laughs> snacks. Great success. Thanks, guys. Yes. Thank you for joining. <laughs> see ya. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. Oh, lemon on butter popcorn, too. GCX works. You've got a lot of snack ideas. I like this. Do you? I would like to do a snack consultation with you if you're up for it right now. Or anybody else? Anybody else want to come on next? Let me know. Um, type it in the comments or send a request. Let's see. Who else do we have on here? Um, English muffin could be turned into croutons for salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were trying to come up with, like, something that she didn't have to really cook because it's really hot up in Fresno where she is right now. So, but, yeah, definitely English muffin would be some good croutons. You add some seasoning on there. That'd be pretty good. Um, does anybody else want to join me? I know, GCX works. Who is this person? High five. Thank you. Um... Anybody else want to join me? Curious snacks. Can I give you some ideas? So like I was saying, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure how many of you tuned in in the beginning, but um, this project is coming out. The guided snack hour comes out of my project experimental quesadilla lab. And that comes out of me being an artist faced with dietary restrictions and having to deal with the cultural issues around things like not being able to eat foods that are like Mexican foods that I would be expected to eat or that I grew up eating and having to adapt and find other ways around it. Um, so it all just kind of like branches out from there. And so by showing what we have at home that we're eating, we are kind of sharing our tastes, but sharing our, our restrictions too, and just kind of making it okay for people who are struggling with those ideas and of like having to adjust around food or just to adapt your diet in some way. But also we need some good old fashioned snack tips here too. Um, do I've got anybody who's interested in joining? Yes, no, or maybe I should just wrap this up. I don't know. Let me know if anybody's on here. 
Um, should I pick anybody? Let's see. Um, yeah, leave a comment or let me know. Otherwise, maybe I'll just wrap it up. But this has been pretty good. This is I, I really like doing this. And I think if anybody wants to join or try another time, that would be fun too. Um, you can find me on Instagram. Uh, let's see if I can type it in here. I'll type in my at. S-A-F-L-O-O-R-E-S. Okay. So that's how you would find me on Instagram is Teresa Flores, T-E-R-E-E-S-A, Flores, F-L-O-O-R-E-S. I made it kind of goofy. Yes, please list some ingredients. GCX Works is coming through with some ingredients for us to, to look at. Um, it's awesome. That's a good idea too, just kind of list them out. Um, but yeah, so I work with food I work with yoga. I do a lot of kind of like wellness stuff because yeah, thanks for coming, Malcolm. Thanks for being part of this. Um, I do a lot of stuff just in wellness just because it helps me to ask the questions that I need to about culture and being a woman and living in California and what this all means for me navigating my health through this. But also I feel like it's important to have these discussions in like a public space and in public areas. So um, that's why I do what I do in, in the different formats that I do. I don't always necessarily do something interactive like on the internet, but because the pandemic has kind of shifted things, I'm shifting with it. Um, I think we've got some ingredients lists coming here in a minute. Okay, we've got eggplant, za'atar, daikon kimchi, uh, kimchi, fajita, tortillas, cantaloupe, and one nectarine. Oh, wow. Nice combo there. I feel like this is the challenge snack. Um, let's see. It's 93 degrees, no AC, and humid, about to storm. Oh, oof. okay. Jeez, jeez, jeez. We really, I feel like for climate change that's happening, we really have to find a way to figure out how to cook for ourselves when we have like no air conditioner and it's hot. Like this is a real issue that we're dealing with here. Nobody wants to cook, it's too hot, it's too miserable. Snacking has been a way to sustain ourselves. Okay, let's see. So, hmm, so be because I wouldn't want you to cook right now, I would say that eggplant would be like a no-go. Um, I kind of wonder if you could dice up the nectarine and the cantaloupe and mix it with the kimchi and then you have kind of like a sweet and spicy blend going on there. Oh, we've got more. Frozen bananas, frozen Korean fish cake, and plain yogurt. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna stick with the, the kimchi idea first. Like maybe you can, you can chop up some cantaloupe and nectarine and mix those together and make something sweet and spicy. Um, and then I don't know if you can heat up your stove. I see what I do is I don't mind heating up the tortilla here because I just like put it on top of the burner and I like just burn a tortilla really quick on top of the burner, flip it over. It takes maybe a minute or two not bad um but i would put that up in there and like make a little taco and eat it that would that's my suggestion there make a little kimchi taco with some nectarines and cantaloupe in it you don't have to cook those but that would be a quick snack not necessarily a meal but a snack yeah um frozen bananas you could also make a smoothie it sounds like with those frozen bananas and the yogurt and the nectarine and maybe put some cantaloupe in there. That'd be a good smoothie if you've got a blender. You can never go wrong with a smoothie. Let's see. Cool. I hope that helped you, GCX Works. Maybe you've got some ideas. Kimchi fruit salad sounds good. 
let me know if you try it. Post a picture and hashtag it. Uh, hashtag guided snack hour. I'd like to see it. And let me know how it tastes, if you like that or not. Um, cool. Well, I think we're good here. That was, that was really fun. We had some different formats where you have people like typing in and showing video and just kind of like not showing their face. That was cool. It was a good way to participate. Um, so thank you for joining me. Again, if you want to find me on Instagram, I'm Teresa Flores on Instagram, T-E-R-E-E-S-A-F-L-O-O-R-E-S. -E 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 I pinned it up there in the chat somewhere. Um, yeah, and then you can find me. My website is TeresaFloresStudio.com. And yeah, it was good talking with everybody and thank you for sharing and thank you for listening and please like write to me, contact me if you like this, if you want to see more, if you've got some ideas or questions. Um, I had a lot of fun, but thank you. And thank you to LA Art Corps for hosting me, for having me on here to talk with you guys and meet a new audience. Thank you. Bye.